A capsized kayak leads investigators to the body of a missing fisherman. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefti. The fisherman's body was found in the San Vicente Reservoir today. 10 News reporter Rena Nakano shows us how the weather may have caused the boat to capsize. Disturbing news came into the recreation building at the San Vicente Reservoir at 11 a.m. A fisherman came into the shop there and, and told me, uh, you know, that there's a, he just reported that there's a kayak upside down. Was there a missing kayaker or was it just an abandoned boat? While waiting for emergency crews, the rec team began their own search. We went out there and looked and uh, couldn't find anybody right away. When dive teams arrived, they first found what looked to be the missing person's supplies, about two coves away from the boat launch. We have found fishing poles in the area of evidence, so we're expecting that it was a kayak fisherman. But on their second try, divers were able to locate that missing person about 15 feet away from his capsized kayak. Investigators describe him as either an Asian or Hispanic man in his 50s. By early afternoon, divers pulled in his plastic kayak. Rescuers say this isn't a canoe type where the feet are inserted into the boat, rather a molded kayak where the operator would simply sit on top. Experts say it is very unlikely that the boater would get stuck onto the boat if it capsized. They believe the incident was most likely caused by 30 mile per hour winds. Conditions are pretty rough. The wind kicks up and this uh, reservoir can get pretty challenging for small boats like that. Investigators say it's unclear if the victim was wearing a life vest. They say to never underestimate the power of Mother Nature. Kayakers have to be very cautious and, and aware that uh, um, they can get into trouble quickly. In Lakeside, Arena Nakano, 10 News. And investigators say this is the second body found in the popular reservoir in the last six months. In August, the body of a 12-year-old Canadian girl was found five days after she reportedly fell off a motorboat.